We are now starting to see numbers that are showing that indeed people have been fleeing the Baltimore region, especially over the last year or so. And overall, since 2001, this has been the biggest decline that they have seen. And they're saying that the data shows that the city lost 1.2% of its population just in the past 12 months. And a lot of this is pertaining to things that go back to 2015 when we were in the streets there covering some of the protests and riots that were going on in the streets there. And a lot of people feel that it turned a little chaotic and that things were not going for the better, so to speak. So people left. Now, these people aren't leaving the country. They are leaving and going toward the Midwest or other areas, leaving the big city, so to speak. This isn't the only place seeing this. We're seeing New Jersey report the same thing because of the taxes on rainwater and all this other crap. You're seeing an exodus out of New Jersey. People moving more south and into the Midwest. California has been seeing this for the longest time. People trying to escape there in droves. So what we're seeing, not just big cities, but in some instances, like California states, where people are trying to get out of there because of the situation. And really, we've been seeing this for a long time. Survival-wise, the big city is not where you want to be. Of course, there's work and all kinds of economic stuff that is tied in to every big city. But survival-wise, to have a piece of land somewhere where you can live and grow food a good distance away from where people can walk and try to take your food or get your food, that is key, in my opinion. If these cities are madhouses in some aspects already, just wait till it really hits the fan. Wait till the lights go out or something. I mean, then these places, it's going to be hard to even imagine the chaotic level that these places could hit in, in a situation like that. But, you know, the people of Baltimore are resilient. And it's not just the people of Baltimore. It's people around the country in these cities. They have to put up with the different things that are thrown at them. It's not all their fault in these circumstances. We've seen many events out here where the hand has been behind it, and it's the people left in the end that suffer. Plus, when you have a country that by design, it seems like it was left to fall apart at this point, with infrastructure depleted all across the place, we need a lot of things done here in this country to get things back in working order. Or within the next decade or so, you're really going to start to see the depletion of cities. And I've talked about places like Seattle, that are built on a landfill. When a big earthquake or tsunami hits that area, it's going to literally sink. So things to think about if you're a big city liver, if you like the big city and all that, well, take a look around you, see what's going on in your neck of the woods. And uh, if you're finding yourself in a city where a lot of people are exiting, you might want to look at the underlying reason as to why. But at some point, people are going to have to start to gather in areas and states that represent them righteously, that represent their beliefs, that stand up for the Constitution, their freedoms, and everything else. And I think you're starting to see more and more of people finally saying the heck with this here in Cali, the heck with this here in Jersey and the way that they're doing things, and they're moving on. So sometimes that has to be the case. If you don't have enough people around you that want to st stand and fight for the rights, you're going to have to go out solo if that's the case. Or find people in other areas that are like-minded. That's the key. Power is in the numbers, in the people, in the politics that we address. Don't forget it. It's been Dabu7. Peace.